What's up? Brett Scallions of Fuel here. My boy Shannon Boone over here. Um, and uh, we'll tell you a, a couple of tour pranks that have happened over the years. You know, usually on, on tours and stuff when bands go out and they, they do full tours together and they're out together for six to eight weeks or however long, you know, you really you really uh, put together a bond and a friendship between the bands most of the time, hopefully at least, you know. And, uh, you know, I've had some some good crazy times with a lot of bands over the years. Um, one of my earlier tours um, was back in the late 90s and we were opening up for a band called Hum. And um, I remember on our last tour, or our last show together, we went out. <laughs> they had this poster and it was a, you know, all their faces were like this size, you know, pretty good, considerable size and stuff. So we took, uh, we took a bunch of their posters and we cut all their faces out. And then we went and got a whole stack of gay porn. Oh my god! And we took the we took like the centerfolds out of gay porn and stuff. And then we pasted their picture, their faces on the gay porn. And then we took it and we just plastered it all over the stage, all over the monitors and everything. So as soon as they walked out, the first thing they saw was gay porn with their faces all on it. So they're just laughing their asses off the entire time they're trying to play a set. So, um, and then uh, I remember another time. There was um, a band called Local H that uh, we were touring with, and um, <laughs> they were opening up for us. And we went out on the stage. I went up to grab my mic, and it was a 12-foot long, big black dildo. So I was like, <laughs> "That was my microphone." And then, uh, and then our drummer, um, it wasn't Shannon. It was another guy named uh, Kevin. He went to sat behind his drumstick, uh, his drum kit, he grabbed his sticks and there were Vaseline on them. So his, he went to hit his first hit and his sticks went and just flew out of his hands. They had water on the, the, the heads, so he hit the, whenever he hit his drums, water would go and splash up everywhere. So, crazy stuff like that. Do you ever have any crazy stuff like that? Uh, I was trying to think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we were just uh, talking about one um, the other day. Uh, I was on tour uh, back when I was playing with Puddle of Mud, and we were uh, playing a uh, tour with Soil over in the UK. And the last show, um, we took a bottle of Jaeger and just poured anything and everything you could think of into it. Um, you know, just like liquor, but I mean, and probably maybe like hot sauce, maybe, you know, some kind of crazy stuff. But anyways, John Wasaki, uh, who was drummer for Stain, was playing with Soil at the time. And we said, ah, oh, we're going to get him, you know. And then we kind of said, ah, as we were making it, really had second thoughts about it, saying, I wouldn't, this is me, man, we shouldn't do this to him. And then somehow, anyways, fast forward to the end of the show, well, the bottle's on stage and it made it to him. And at the end, he always liked to stand up, he'd do a little drum solo, take a big old pull off the bottle. Well, he about shit himself. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, he wasn't too happy about that one, but, you know, he got over it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what you call that drink that he had that night, but it was, <laughs> yeah. it was something special, you know. Spicy drink. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Uh, yeah. We're us and Kid Rock and Buck Cherry were all touring together, and uh, it was the last show of the tour. And on, every night on the for the encore, Bobby would ride a Harley up on the stage, and. Uh, he, when he'd go up there, he'd have a, he'd be dressed like Uncle Sam. He had like a Stars and Stripes uh, tuxedo type jacket, you know, and he had the big uh, Stars and Stripes top hat and everything. So he'd he'd roll up there on his uh, on his Harley and he'd park it on the on the stage, and then he'd have a, a PBR with him and he'd walk up to the front monitor and he'd, he'd put his foot up on the monitor and he'd point at everybody like Uncle Sam, you know. So we all decided we had we had some fans that took like cardboard uh, sheets and they cut them out and everything and they sat there for hours with sharpies, red and blue sharpies, just um, and drawing, drawing, uh, making the top hats. Yeah. And then they had uh, they had uh, um, they pasted them all together to make these really big, tall, crazy top hats. Or had like a, a dozen of them. So us and Buck Cherry. Um, 
we we had, on that tour too. We had a bunch of little scooters and stuff oh, like yeah. that. So he rode his Harley up there, and we all came up behind him on these little scooters, <laughs> rolling up behind him and stuff with our top hats on, you know. And, and then everybody just went up to the front of this of the stage and did the whole Uncle Sam pose, man. Nice. It was hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> Good times. This is what we do to abuse each other on on a friendly level. Yeah. Mm-hmm.